Hey guys, today I'll give you a quick overview over the new updates we've just released for Migaku MPV and Migaku Kindle. Let's start with Migaku MPV. If you don't already know what Migaku MPV is, you can watch this introduction video. In short, it allows you to use the Migaku browser extension together with all of your local media files. When using Migaku MPV, the first change you might notice right away is that the subtitle browser now behaves slightly differently. The current subtitle sentence is now always in the center and highlighted in a soft grey color. If you miss a line, you don't have to scroll up manually anymore. Next up, you can also now use the mass card export feature in Migaku MPV using these two buttons. Remember to set up automatic definitions in Migaku Dictionary so that all of your cards get dictionary definitions automatically added to them when they are created. Because Migaku MPV uses local files, it doesn't need to record audio or tech images from your browser and therefore mass exporting cards is very fast. You can even continue watching while cards are being exported. Just like on Netflix and YouTube, subtitle modes are now available. Default leaves the subtitle shown as is. Reading will pause the video whenever a new subtitle line shows up, giving you a chance to read it before you hear its audio. Recall hides the subtitles while the video plays and pauses the video at the end of each subtitle line with the subtitles visible. This allows you to test yourself on whether you correctly understood the previous line or not. And hidden just hides the subtitle. Text styling is also now available for the subtitles in the MPV window. Simply press the MPV subs button to generate a styled subtitle file which is automatically loaded into MPV. This includes word status underlining and I plus one highlighting. Furigana and pitch accent coloring for Japanese, tone highlighting for Mandarin and Cantonese, as well as Pinyin, Chuying, and Yui Pin. And gender coloring for European languages. Mitten in der vielleicht schwersten Phase der Pandemie gönnt sich die Union einen brutalen Machtkampf um die Kanzlerkandidatur. Finally, Miyako MPV can now also be used with a wide array of online video websites. To enable this, you should download YouTube DL and place the executable beside the MPV executable or install it globally on your system. Then you can copy the URL of a website to your clipboard and press Y to play it in MPV. You can press Shift Y to play it after the current file. This works on YouTube, but also some other select websites without DRM. Ah, 
There are literally a few hundred supported sites, so make sure to check out the link in the description below to see whether your favorite streaming site is supported. For further details about every feature Megako MPV has and how to set everything up, check out the guide on our website link below. Megako Kindle also got several quality of life improvements. You can now filter your lookups by highlights, that way only words you highlighted manually will be shown in the lookup browser. This is especially useful if you are still doing lots of lookups and you don't plan to add all of them to your card collection. Notes you added to a highlight are now also displayed in the lookup browser. These notes can also be added to your cards if you choose to do so. Book titles can now also be added as text on your cards. Lastly, we added a minimum frequency setting for all imported lookups. Using this feature, you can for example import all i plus one lookups with four or more stars in your chosen dictionary group. Thanks so much for watching today's video guys and I hope that you find these new updates useful. These projects are both still in development and so are currently only available to our Patreon supporters. If you're interested in gaining access to them and many more exclusive projects, be sure to check out our Patreon page. We've linked the table of contents post below which shows you everything that Migaku offers. This includes all of our 100% free projects as well. So be sure to check out that post if you would like to find out more about what's available. I want to thank all of our supporters on Patreon who make our work possible and for that we are truly grateful. Have a nice day and goodbye.